everyone. Welcome back. Um, I hope you like the music um, for today's tutorial. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a warn command. Um, I already did this, and for some reason, um, so basically, like, I misplaced, like, a bracket, like, somewhere over here, and then the command handler, like, completely bugged out. So, I had to fix that, and now it's time to delete everything that I just did. Okay, let's redo the whole thing, shall we? So first, let's uh, require Discord. Discord is equal to require, and Discord.js should give me the option here. Oh wow, it's really lagging. Um, it's not showing up the the module, but it's okay. Okay, so now let's um let's copy the command handler thingy. Wrong one. Okay. So, um, now, I'm not sure if I need MS, actually. I don't think I do, because it's just, um, standard for the, for the thing that I'm going to be doing later. Um, so, um, I had some very good, um, recommendations from last episode. Um, one was to do a, um, pace bin, so that people don't have to, like, follow the whole tutorial. I mean, it basically, like, takes out the whole learning experience, but I guess, um, if people don't want to, don't want to learn, I, I kind of get that, so, yeah, there's going to be a paste bin for this code, um, below, in the description. Just, just make sure that you know that you're going to have to change a few things, because obviously I'm not going to put like, because, for example, your server name or your bot name or something, like, those are going to be different, so, um, and, so, let me just quickly explain what I just did here, so right here, um, we're checking, so, if, and then this explanation point is saying, if, this, um, this is not true, so, if this member who wrote the message does not have the permission, oops, I actually forgot to put the permission, manage underscore messages, then, um, Oh, actually, no, this is, this is for the, for the next line. Then we're just going to return and ignore him. So now we're trying to get the, now we're just going to return. And now we're going to get the user. So let's quickly define the user, actually. Far user is equal to, and now we can do message.mentions.users.first. And this is, um, this means that this is the first mentions from the message that was sent. Um, so now we can also get the ID, if you use the ID. This doesn't always work. I'm sure that there's like a, there's like five of these things that you're supposed to add. I just forgot them all. So, this is the only one that I remember. I might do this in another video and I'll, um, I'll teach you how to fix this. Okay, so once we've done that, this is for the ID. Um, so if we use the ID... Then it'll come show up as arg zero, and then we're gonna get the ID from the guild, um, for um the user, the user, um, from the ID. Okay, so I'm not really good at explaining, but um now we're gonna check if there is a user, and if there's not, then we're just gonna reply. You did not mention a user for me to punish. Okay, so now we're gonna define our member. For our member, we're not gonna define it yet because it can have two values depending if this works or not. Member is equal to await, await, and then message dot guild. Oops, not a comma. Guild dot member stuff fetch. Um, we're gonna fetch the user. Okay, and if this does not work, else. Um, actually, no, this is a catch, not, not an else. Okay, catch. Catch error. Okay, and then if there's an error, then we're going to catch it with null. So we're going to assign it um, the null value. Okay, so now if there's no member, then that... Th okay, so after all of this code, um, and if there's still no member or user, then that means that, the, that they're not in the server. So just going to let them know that the user's not in the server. The user that you mention that you mentioned is not is not currently 
in the server. Okay, so now we're gonna get a reason. If our reason is equal to args, and then we're gonna splice whatever comes after um, the args one, and we're gonna join everything with the space. So basically, what this is saying is that, um, so so say your reason was like spamming in chat, args one would be just spamming, but when we do splice, it includes everything after, um this this one word right here so yeah so that's what that does um so now we're going to check if there is a reason because if there's not a reason then we can't do this i mean obviously you could do this and then you could have like two of these where where if there's no reason then after that you just run like one code without a reason and then another uh without a, with a reason sorry um and now we're just gonna do so for me i like having a reason for everything so that if, if someone gets warned and we're questioning why, then we'll know why. Okay, message dot reply. You forgot to include a reason in your statement, I guess. No, I'm just I'm just gonna do you forgot to include a reason. Okay, so another good suggestion that I got was to do like um to do one where like after a certain amount of warns, it like mutes you or kicks you or something like that. Um, the only problem with that is that you need an actual database like Mongoose um, DB and like FS. Those are like the most popular ones. But the only problem with that is that I can't get it to work for myself. So I there are a lot of tutorials out there on those. So if you want to check those out, or or I can like try my best to try and get it to work. But otherwise, um, yeah. Okay. So now what we're doing is we're checking to see if the person who wrote the message is um, equal to the user that was mentioned. So um, that means that we can't warn ourselves. Sorry, my brother is running like crazy upstairs for some reason. Um, you cannot uh, warn yourself. If, if you want to warn yourself for some reason, um, you can just leave this out. But yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna do our confirmation embed. So far, warn embed equals new discord dot message embed. Yep, okay. Now we're gonna set our color. I'm, this is like the same every single time. So um, this should be like turquoise or green, whatever you wanna call it. If you, if you wanna use this exact same color, then feel free. But if you, oh my God. <laughs> My dog is barking. If you could hear that, then sorry. Okay, set description. Um, and now the description for this is going to be that the user has been warned. So, oops, we're going to use brackets. User has been successfully warned by, and then our message author. I hope that you can't hear my dog barking, but if you can, um, that's probably not good. Okay, so now we're gonna, um, I, so, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make sure that this, that the messages get deleted, like, after a certain amount of time, because it kind of looks more professional, if you ask me. So, I'm just gonna do this, oops, I forgot to put my quotation. This message will auto-delete after... Like five seconds, I think, would be good. Okay, so now um, we can't just do we can't just do like um, actually, I th what I think would be good is we actually do var send embed, and this will be like sort of like a function, and we're gonna wait message dot channel that send, and then our warn embed. And once we do that, then we can actually delete it specifically. Um, and then this message dot delete right here is not deleting this; it's deleting the message that triggered all of this. So, so the warn. So when you do warn at and then the user and then put the reason, um, it and then you hit enter, it should be automatically deleted. And then we're gonna delete the embed after five seconds. Um, 
So now I'm going to do set timeout. So this is the timeout that we're going to set to make sure that um, the embed gets deleted after our wanted time. Okay. Okay, so now we're just going to delete the, the embed that we sent. Okay, and then this is after how much time? So ours is f uh, 5 seconds. This is in milliseconds, so it would be 5,000 for 5 seconds. Okay. So now we're just going to do like a user embed that we're going to send to the user. So... Okay, and now we're going to set the color to... I would recommend like doing like, like something like... Um, maybe like yellow or something. But I don't really have that on me. I don't think so. I'm just gonna do what I have written down. I th I think this might be yellow actually. <sighs> I didn't like put titles or anything for the colors that I wrote down, but I think this is title. And um, you can do for the title, you can do like you were warned by, and then just put your bot name. So for example, um, you were warned by Sump to Joey. Actually, I'm not going to put the bot there, but... Um... Okay, so now let's just put our description, and it's going to let them know what they got warned for, which would be our reason. Which is why I like requiring the reason. Um, but first we need to tell them what server it's in, because it could be in any server, right? So, server, and just put your server name. I'm pretty sure that there's like something like message.guild.name or something like that. Um, but I'm not going to try that, because I'm not completely sur sure about that. So, I'm pretty sure mine is like the infamous test server. And then we're going to add a field. And this is going to be our reason. Okay. Don't forget the comma and then reason. Okay. So, once we've done that, let's, we can actually set a thumbnail. I think this looks pretty awesome. So, I already copied this URL, but... Might have been, might have been reset by copying something else. So let me scroll up really quick. It's just my Google Chrome is really laggy. Sorry. Uh, okay. We don't, we don't want support dot Discord. Sorry, Discord. Okay. Finally, we've got our image. Now just right click on it, copy image address, and we're gonna put the image address right here. Okay, so once you've done that, um, th that should be it. And now we're just going to try sending it to the user. Um, and if this doesn't work because of, like, either they have embed, I'm not embed, um, their DM's closed or something like that, then, um, we're just going to catch the air so our bot doesn't crash. Okay, so we're going to catch the air. And we can actually console that warn that. Console dot warn, and then our error. Okay, um, that should be it for the bot. Okay, let's save this really quick. Let's go to new terminal. I'm hoping this one works this time, because I, because I think I fixed the problem from last time. No, it's based on. Let's see if we get any errors. No, okay. <sighs> this is really, really laggy. Okay, so now we're just gonna test out everything else. So warn should say that we need a user. Yep. Warn and then should say that we need a reason this time. Now let's actually warn them. Okay, so now let's test. So as you can see, it deleted. Now, it deleted after 3 seconds. Okay, let's check our DMs. This is new from right now. You were warned by sub to Joey. Server, the infamous test server, and reason was test. Right, so, um, that should be it for this tutorial. I'm gonna try and do a mute command, maybe either today or tomorrow. And, um, until we see each other again, if you have any errors, um, join my support server or leave a comment down below. Um, I could definitely use some suggestions if you have any suggestions. Um, I'm going to try and get that 
database thing because um, I don't know. I think it's pretty essential if you're building like a professional bot. So um, if I can't get that, then I'll just recommend some really good um, some really good tutorials. So um, yeah, bye. I guess have a good day and. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you did enjoy. The pastebin again will be in the description. So, um, yeah. Bye bye.